up last year. Let's we talk right now with the ESAC there. girls at Sprint Medley team down here at the state track meet. We'll start off yeah, with Emily Drost, who started things off today. And Emily looked pretty good Ruby coming out of the blocks. How did you feel? Good. I felt pretty good. I don't know. I was saying, like, yeah, I felt good. Okay. Did you feel strong right away, or where did you feel like you got up to top speed today? I felt pretty strong, but like at the end, I don't know what happened. Our handoff kind of was very good, but I, don't know, I felt pretty strong. Like I was, didn't think I was too far behind. So. Let's take us through what you were thinking as you were kind of running, and, and what was you were in lane one, so everything was kind of developing in front of you. Yeah, I was like, holy cow, and then I was like, I'm on the blue track, like it's fun. So <laughs> it was, I liked it. So what did you see out in front of you as we were running? What did you see from the other runners? Yeah, that and, is cool. and then when you got to Kendall, what were you watching? Um, I think Kendall came up really quick. I was like, holy crap, she's right there. But, State um, three, I don't know. I wasn't really thinking anything. Seven, like, seven, I really know the other runners. Is it different coming up to your hand up before you're even out of the curve? Yeah, I was really okay. What are you taking away from running down here on Saturday morning? Um, I kind of liked it, but the first few days, I got kind of bored. Well, congratulations on getting down here. Great job today. Thanks. We'll move over now to Kendall Harrigan. Kendall, you're in the second leg today. You had to take that handoff right on the curve. How did you feel like you got out of the handoff today? Um, I, yeah, I felt pretty quick, like Emily said, but uh, yeah, I definitely wish we could practice a little bit more. I got it down a little bit better, but we got it in. How did you feel as you were running, and uh, did you feel like you were strong throughout that 100? Um, I don't think lane one is the best lane, but and now we go uh, I felt like the final I section. They're chasing their time hard, by two hundred one forty-seven point eight. Kind of feels so far behind. Lane one assumption eighth at the Great Green Lanes this year. How does that impact you? You know, how does that impact you being in lane one and you? No matter what, you pretty much got everybody, especially after the first handoff. You know, out in front of you still. Yeah, it's, it's really just uh, kind of brings you down a little bit until you see your teammates come around their curve and they've got everybody else going about the same. And it kind of evens out over there. But when you're on the uneven part, it's kind of, yeah, it's kind of, it's hard to get going. Right? Talk about being down here at this state track meet. What have you enjoyed so far? Um, just the people that I came with. It was really fun and exciting. And I was actually really nervous to run everything, but they calmed me down a lot. And actually running is probably the best part. I didn't think I was going to say that by the end of the day, but that's true. Well, I tell you what, congratulations, great job being uh, down here, and thanks for joining us. Thank you. Let's talk now with Rachel Tice, who got to uh, run the uh, 200 here today in the uh, sprint medley. And uh, Rachel, how did your handoff with Kendall go, and how did you feel off of the start then? Well, it went really smooth. We practiced a couple of times, but I was kind of nervous about it. But it ended up going really well, and I felt pretty quick coming off the handoff. So, Take us through the race. How did you feel as you were running, and, and what did you see happening around you? Well... Well, when we were getting ready to do the handoff, I see Kendall come in, and that was pretty exciting. And I, I kind of felt, kind of calmed me down a little bit because I was really nervous. But when I got going, I don't know, it just went really fast. I'm, I usually run like 400s and up, so <laughs> these races are pretty quick for me. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what was it like running that curve over there? Um, I don't know. It was really fast, and I could hear people cheering on the curve for us. And, um, I don't know. Okay. Did you feel like you were right with the pack then? Um, not really. We were kind of already behind since we were in the first lane, so, yeah. Okay. Coming down the straightaway, kind of exciting? Yes, it was. My family was down by the finish, so I could hear them cheering for me. How was the handoff with, uh, with uh, Jaylen? It went really well. Very smooth. So what have you taken away from being down here the last couple of days? Um, it's a really great experience, really, for any runner. Um, just the atmosphere and spending all this time with your teammates. And it's a really great experience. Well, Rachel, congratulations. Great job. Thanks for joining us. Let's move on now to Jalen Peters and Jalen. The final video interview at State Track for you, I think, what, 14 in your career? So, uh, what was his last race like? Um, well, I knew it was going to be my last race on the pole, so I just gave it my all and finished strong, I felt. How did you feel like you ran that 400? Um, I think I started off, me and Rachel had a good handoff. We started around that, and I was in lane one, which I'm really not used to. I like cutting over on that side, but I stayed in lane one all the way around, and all the girls were in front of me, so I just pushed, I used them to push me forward. Did you think that helped you out some, or would yeah, you have rather been kind of in oh the yeah, pack? I like to like catch people, I like to pass them, that's a good feeling, so that really helps me. Talk about the four years in coming down here for state. 
It's, you know, been, like, a, it's been a great experience. I like, really love the atmosphere. Love everything about it. Like these last four years, have like I just love coming down here. Have you thought about over the four years maybe which was your favorite event to be in or anything? Um, well, I think my sophomore year we placed in two events. With the four by four, I've always loved that race. So or the open four, which makes me really nervous. But it's my third time being down here for that. So uh, I really like the four hundreds. And the sprint men, I like. I like this fast race. And, and yeah. So will you keep coming back just to watch it? Oh yeah, future years? I'll come back and cheer everyone on. Like my sister was done last year, and she still loves coming back. And she came with her. They just love it down here. I'm sure I'll be the same. Well, Jaylen, for everything you've done, appreciate it all. A lot of interviews over the years, so thank you very much. Thank you.